Hey, hey, welcome back, everybody. I'm Jay Barino, this is StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm. Let's blow up some shuttles. The Protoss still seek to warn Shakuris of our presence. They are preparing to send shuttles through their warp network to Shakuris. Sh shoot the messenger? <laughs> you, you kid who's playing on the phrase, don't, don't shoot the, the messenger, but we got, now we're gonna shoot him. What? <laughs> They're crazy. Oh, someone just kill me. Uh, I really don't like this mission. It's just sort of boring. I guess it, if you go on the offensive and try to kill the Protoss and you fail, then you will lose the mission, like, instantly. But at the same time, if you play it safe, it's like the most boring 20 minutes of this entire game. Well, I wouldn't go that far. There's some pretty boring parts. But, let me tell you, it's, uh, it's, it's it, can, it can be boring. I don't know. I, we'll see how I'm feeling, especially because I'm still getting used to the mouse. I did partake in that chicken lo mein, so I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. There we go. The Protoss are preparing shuttles for launch. A warp conduit. I sense millions of Protoss mines on the other side. Shakuris! If a single shuttle passes through, they can alert Shakuris to our presence. Should we destroy it then? No, they would detect that. Our only choice is to stop their shuttles from reaching the conduit. Nafash's hydralisks. Abathur, assimilate their essence into the swarm. Hydralisk reconstituted can morph from larva. I need more hydralisks to destroy these shuttles. Hydralisks, I love them. I love them so much. They got nerfed a little bit. Well, um, eh. I was going to say they got nerfed a little bit compared to their counterparts in the in Brood War, but let me tell you, God, every time I start these missions, my mouse is not contained on the correct screen. Alrighty, let's see if I can do this properly. Uh, there is a base I want to certainly take down here. Go ahead and pick that up right away, because I don't really use my gas for anything else. Let's go ahead and throw some extras on gas, though, because we're going to need those. So, uh, it. it's kind of the same with all of these Heart of the Swarm missions. There's not much time. My queen, the Protoss have launched a shuttle. It is en route to a warp conduit. Not if I have anything to say about it. We will bring down that shuttle. Uh, they're, they're kind of the same in, in the sense that, like, they're really challenging at first, and then get really easy once you build enough stuff later. So, it, like, really easy. So that's the same case with this one, is it's, it's hard at first, and then gets just crazy difficult later. Holla. All right, so the achievements in this, again, which I'm not really as active in getting here as I was in Wings of Liberty, is one is to stop the shuttles before they even start warping, which I'm probably going to miss right away here because, well, let's see. I have to move these up just a little bit, but then we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I have enough. We'll see, because uh, I didn't make any extra hydralis. And then the other is to destroy a certain amount of Protoss Nexi, which... Again, you have to be offensive, and if you mess it up, then you are fucked. Kinetic blast. Let's use that right away. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll. I think I will get it. Oh no, never mind. All right, it started warping out, so I've already lost that. <laughs> All right. Well, I can't even say I tried my best. I. I just like I've just not even given up. All right, I've not even started trying. The, the funny thing is, like with Wings of Liberty, there were some that I'm like, oh, I don't think I'll be able to get that. And, I'll, and But then I'll be like, I'll, I'll do my best, and then I'd either come really close or I might end up getting it. And in this one, I just don't even, I don't even want to, like, bother trying, because I feel like it would take too much save loading and, and things like that. So we need overlords. Let's go ahead and grab some more gas, too. Gas is going to become more of an issue later into the mission, but right now it's probably fine. Our shuttles must break through. You will never leave this ball of ice. I mean, Kerrigan, you don't have to taunt them. I mean, there's no reason. Like, there's this is a big misunderstanding here. Well, I guess not really. I think they just still legitimately want you dead. The Protoss were gathering biological samples and storing them in these stasis chambers. We'll destroy the chambers and take the biomass if we can. You have my attention. That sounds good. I'm still boxing things and they're not getting selected the way Push I want ahead. them to. It's a little it frustrating and I, again, it's like... I don't think it's like an error. I think it's just me not used to this mouse yet. So, I don't know. That's just the thing I gotta get used to. Just gonna make some more drones. Oh, no. 
You know, the funny thing is, is I'm pretty sure I can random zealot executor person, so we'll just make some more overlords. And I need more drones down here as well. Oh, wait, I can't because I still don't have overlords. Let's just go ahead and get these guys on gas. All right, this guy's coming down here. I also need to make a concerted effort to get that biomass. I can worry about that later, though. Uh, for now, I, I'm feeling pretty confident, so let's uh, let's keep spreading our creep. All right, God, my ac I feel like my actions are so slow. It's just... I keep blaming the mouse, but really it's just me. I don't know. I felt like I was doing pretty well at the end of Wings of Liberty, and suddenly I just suck. I don't know what happened. We I gotta get a roach's nest or roach's den or whatever it's called. Uh, roach Warren. Wow, I wasn't even close with either of those. Okay, let's do the same thing here. Uh, it's got a fighter escort. I don't care about that. So let's just get up here and use kinetic blast on one of them. And just attack. Use our... Uh, Crushing grip. When you use crushing grip on air units, you have to make sure that you do it on the little circle on the ground because uh, if you try it on the actual unit, it might not actually work. Got him. You have my attention. Still yes? not boxing units the way I would like, unfortunately. Uh, melee attack, even though I, it's not really that useful, but that's fine. Um, I need to get some spine crawlers to help defend myself too. Right there and there. What I'll also do is move some the of these. Are mobilizing an assault on our hive cluster. I mean, they tell you when you're getting attacked. It's like <laughs> embarrassing how much hand-holding there is in this game. It... Okay, well... Out with it. Whoopsies. Come on, spine crawlers. Come on, spine crawlers. There you go. All right, get back to mining drones. You're fine. And then we'll get down there here and help, and then we'll swing up here and get this biomass. Or bio... Is it stasis chambers that contain biomass? Something like that. We're going to get roaches, too, just to help with some of the ground attacks. All right, Kerrigan, where are you at? That's not Kerrigan at all. Get her. There we go. I think there's some Archons up here or something like that, so you have to be careful. Oh, yeah, there definitely is. Just take him out right away. Okay, and I, I have to just make sure to take this stuff out sooner rather than later, because... The Protoss have launched another shuttle. It is bearing towards an unknown location. They're bringing more warp conduits online. I sense two more activating. Large quantities of biomass. Good to have. Can use to improve swarm. Thank you, Abathur. Your weird words are welcome as always. Okay, and we need more, I would say more spine crawler. We need spine crawlers and spore crawlers here. Just to, just to delay, really. Right, that's good. We can keep spreading creep. Just to give us vision is just so helpful. And I'm going to spread the creep up in this direction because I can build spore crawlers up there eventually. So let's uh, let's just keep spreading. Uh, this one I'll just set up in this direction. Okay, all of you. Let's get on up here so we can stop the shuttle. I don't like the immortal. Fuck off, immortal. God, kinetic blast is just it's just like it just you can kill those immortals for free. It's just unfair. All right, let's attack this. Crushing grip, as usual. Let's get rid of one of those void rays. We're going to be engaging one of these uh, other groups, too. So let's head on down here, make sure we kill the shuttle. Because that's high ground up there. Got to be a little careful. All right, not that careful. All right, let's keep attacking. Hydralisks, roaches, apparently overlords. Okay. And let's go ahead and grab another refinery, too. Did I call it a refinery and extractor? Okay, I suppose let's go over here. There's ooh, some hydralisks. Make sure I get all of those. What's up here? I, I don't remember these maps at all. I feel like I haven't played these in such a long time. So let's head on over down here. Actually, the last time I played Heart of the Swarm was when I recorded it uncommentated on my channel before. So Okay, got that. So now I'm going to poke up here and grab this set of biomass. There might be a high Templar. There is. Let's do that. Okay. <laughs> Well, that hurt, but uh, Swarm Queens, uh, you're, you're doing your thing, right? So, you, what are you doing? Get back down here. Keep spreading creep. Keep spreading creep. I'm so slow at this. Keep spreading creep. I'll strap in. It's not going to get much faster. There's another Hydralisk for free. That's good. Another chamber destroyed. And a roach. What were the Protoss doing with all this biomass? What does it matter? I mean, <laughs> it's ours now. Okay. So, more drones. We're all good there. Let's get another... Ha I'm, let's... Me. Let I... How about I get another hatchery? The Protoss are launching shuttles from a new base. Well, that makes things a little more complicated. 
I mean, not really, because we could just directly defend the the bases, so it's fine. Let's make drones and send them down in this direction. And I'm going to grab some of these, and I want to build spore crawlers here, and maybe even spine crawlers down there, too. So, just make a bunch of crawlers. Okay, that'll do it. And then all of you, we have to go head off that shuttle right away. I should have more than enough stuff, though, and we're going to be on creep, so let's just swing down in here. I'm going to queue up some uh, swarm queens, too, because we're always short on those. And they, you can queue those, and they're not dependent on larva. I don't know how many times I can emphasize that, but it's true. All right, we want to make sure that we Push have ahead. vision up here, too. So let's engage. Let's hit the carrier with a kinetic blast and do our little, little lifting thingy. Uh, I might as well just kill the interceptors. Actually, no, let's go to the carrier. Oh, it's warping away. Uh, we've got a long time, though. Attack it. Hit it with a kinetic blast. It's done. Okay, so, honestly, the achievements are just significantly easier on easier difficulties for Heart of the Swarm. That's why they made them all normal difficulty instead of hard, and then they made the master achievements for, the, for hard difficulty, so... I don't know. I like that better, honestly. I think Legacy of the Void... I would like Legacy of the Void if it was similar. All right, it looks like we caught their next attack as it was on our way, as it, it was on its way to us. There's some more down here, though. That's why I made that uh, spine crawler. Let's keep spreading creeps so that again we can get some sp uh, spore crawlers up there. And we'll see how I'm feeling if I want to be attacking soon. Let's uh, make some more overlords. Get up to 200 right away. Make some more swarm queens. Pushing into the Protoss is hard only because they have like a billion High Templar, and <laughs> you have to bait the storms, which is very challenging with a large amount of units. And you get bottlenecked. We'll see. I'll give it a shot. Maybe. <laughs> In my uncommon play, uncommentated playthrough, I didn't do it, and boy, was that boring. I'll be the first one to admit that was just boring. All right, let's see if we could sneak this up here. We can. Okay, let's take... Uh... Oh, I got away with it. All right, let's come up here, kill this, and grab our last group of whatever. We can also destroy this base and take it, though uh, unnecessary. Oh, I thought they were attacking me, but they are not. Everybody move in. Did they have an observer? They suddenly just decided to kill that, uh... Protoss are launching two sets of shuttles. Tenacious bastards. Alright, so I need to make a bunch of Hydralisks a lot. I just queued up a shit ton, but that's too... Just make sure that I uh, am able to... Oh, that's a Colossi up there? I like how they gave me vision of that, just, like, just to be nice. Uh, I need to be careful here, because if I'm not, then I'm going to miss the shuttles. Get over there, kill the pylon, and then let's just get out of here. we got to go catch these shuttles. So you guys come down here. You guys need to come down here to this shuttle. I do have crawlers, though, which is good. Uh, I have a lot of creep everywhere, though, so I think I'm in good shape. No, no, you guys just head down here. Okay, attack. We just have to straight up attack this. We've got Kerrigan and a bunch of crawlers down here, so I feel in good shape. Actually, those crawlers are in the wrong spot. Swarm Queen, no. All right, got to just use... Let's just focus on the thing. Just to get it out of here. There we go. Kill this, then focus the carrier. Got him. This seems like it went pretty well. Let's come up here, swing up here, and finish it off. Let's make some roaches, some hydralisks. Lots of Hydralisks. I love Hydralisks. They were my favorite unit in Brood War of everything. Yes. Everything. I mean, Valkyries were cool, There's sure. I mean, everything was... I mean, it was cool stuff, but, like, Hydralisks were just, like, my bread and butter of everything. It was just great. Uh, here's an Xi here that we can destroy that counts towards that number that we have to destroy for the achievement. I think you have to destroy, like, four, though, which is akin to almost wiping the whole map, so I'm probably not going to do that. Actually, I'm not really sure. I actually have no idea. I'm not even going to look because I don't want to... I'm not going to, like, try to do it now. Push Only ahead. three waves left of uh, of shuttles, so. But we've got all of our stasis chambers. The swarm never rests. Uh, we are able. We could start pushing up get in here going. into the Protoss base. Let's get this but over. now I'm having second thoughts. I, I have a lot of stuff. That's the last stasis chamber. We'll examine biomass, consume, improve swarm. There's not much time. I'll try to come up here and destroy the nexus that's up here, though. But going for the docking base is hard. It's just hard to get in there because there's, there's bottlenecks in every direction that you want to go, so. I mean, let's make some Hydralisks and leave them at home just in case. Okay. The Protoss have launched more shuttles. One shuttle through the conduit 
and you will feel the might of the Golden Armada. I am sensing a Protoss psionic matrix. Your forces are nearing the enemy's base. Okay, so I'm busting through here. I need to go stop the shuttles, though. Um, Alright, come on down. You guys stay here. You guys in the front come down and intercept this one. You guys turn and fight this asshole. Uh, they're going to crisscross here, so you guys also just stay here, I suppose. And then once these are dead, we'll try to push in and destroy that base. I don't know if I'll be able to get to it, but that's okay. Only one carrier, that's okay. Let's do this. No, not going to do that, Kerrigan. Lifting the carrier I don't think affects the interceptors, so that's why I'm just being a little cautious. Okay, more hydralisks and roaches and hydralisks. And where did I rally them? Just sort of up in this direction. That's cool. All right, let's see if we can make it happen. I'm focusing on those uh, colossi because I feel like if I can kill those early, then they just can't do nearly as much damage to me. Stop making archons, damn it. Uh, I don't see any high templar, though, so that's really good. Okay, stop moving in. Hydralists have a slight delay when they attack, so you, when you stop move, it's actually a little more precise. Kinetic Blast. I apparently have done it. Let's just uh, push in here. We've got a decent amount of stuff just waiting down here for the next uh, for the next attack. There's a carrier. Where's Kerrigan? Not enough energy. Everybody back up. Just back up, back up, back up, back up. Kill the Nexus. So breaking through that to the docking bay is a little challenging. Focus on the carrier. There we go, and we're unpowering their ability to produce stuff. The Colossi are truly murdering me. Okay, let's just back out, because they just spawned an attack wave with the shuttle, too. So let's just leave. I'll make a bunch of Hydralisks. Oh, not enough gas. I never saturated this one, that's why. I would have considerably more gas if I would have done that. Okay, so I lost a lot of stuff, but I've got a lot of stuff, so I think we're okay. Let's see if we can catch this one right here. There's not much time. And then let's take a small group, well, not really a small group, and try to catch this one. They've got Colossi with these groups, too. That's uh, challenging to deal with. Swarm Queen, try to stay alive here. And we've got a lot of spore crawlers that are down here. I could engage with those. Yeah, I'm just going to wait down here and see if I can engage with those instead, rather than only alone. Kinetic blast that thing. Got two waves left. And those colossi, well, focus on the colossi. It's the only thing that's going to do a shit ton of damage. My uh, spore crawlers are doing their job and making sure that I don't lose to that crap. Make more Hydralisks. We're going to rally them here. Zerglings, too, because we have a lot of money. And let's see if we can go kill the, the the bay. I don't know. They're rebuilding all this stuff very fast, but I might be Push able ahead. to. Again, this is a situation where I can lose because I'm being careless. But I have so much stuff. All right, use Kinetic Blasts. There we go. Move in. And attack. You guys also move up here. Move up here. And attack. I figure, I, you know, I'll destroy at least one of the docking bays. And this stops them from being able to create so much crap, too. Got it. Uh, this is probably a bad idea. I'll be, the, I'll be the first one to say it. They must be using it to cloak shuttles. In my way. I forgot about the mothership. I honestly, truly forgot that that was even a thing that existed. They're all coming from to the same bay, though, so... All forces, defend the central conduit. Tear their ships from the sky. Okay, everybody just come on over here. I don't have enough... I feel like I don't have enough hydralisks because I just lost a shit ton. Oh, well. I'm either going to win or lose right now. I think I'm okay. I'm, I'm sure I'm fine. Uh, okay, well, the mothership is annoying. It might, oh, if it black holes, then I might be in bad shape. So, 
Okay, I'm focusing on the Colossi first because those can destroy uh, my Hydralisk so easily. There we go. And then all the Spore Crawlers, too. It's just... It's good stuff. All right. Attack. Get this. Mothership is dead. You guys get on up here and kill the carrier. Okay, now everyone get down and destroy the shuttles, and we're done. All righty. It all worked out. No problem. And I did destroy one docking bay, so I kept things a little interesting. That's the last. The warp conduits are useless to them now. You've done it, my queen. The Protoss threat is removed. Nothing is done. Until they are all dead. Wow. You don't have to be a dick about it, Kerrigan. Oh no, I didn't find all my Feral Zerg. Oh well. Uh, Nexus is destroyed. Nexi destroyed. Oh, I got two. Hey! Alright, I got that one. Uh, clearly didn't get this one, though. The uh, Don't let a Protoss shuttle begin warping out. I lost that one within like 30 seconds. Alright. Well, let's head back to the Leviathan, talk to who we need to talk to. Hopefully one of them is not Isha. Every time Isha has a talking point, I'm like, oh my god, here we go. Let it be known, I, I, I hate this character. <laughs> I feel my queen's hatred burning like a star. <laughs> but there is something underneath it I do not understand. It's pain, Isha. Sometimes even my hatred can't shield me from memories. Of an enemy who damaged you? No. Memories of better times. Of a friend now lost. That's so deep, Kerrigan. Oh, you here. Let's, stronger, let's talk queen. to her. New abilities are available within your chamber. Our scouts report a large Protoss ship on the other side of the moon. The interstellar ship that used to travel here. It is not yet ready for launch, but it will be before we can get to it. They're tenacious. I'll give them that. But I am ready for this. You do not have to do this. You could leave. Be away from this moon before the Golden Armada arrives. I can't run. I know that now. My enemies will never stop coming for me. All I can do is fight. Then there will never be peace. <laughs> peace? What peace? I mean, clearly both sides are trying to kill each other. She makes it seem like, oh, Kerrigan, just stop fighting. We'll send this giant fleet. They'll kill you, and then there'll be peace. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Let's talk to Abathur. New discovery. Large-scale improvement to Zergling sequences. What kind of improvement? Answer complex. Can branch evolution of fully evolved Zergling form two new strains? Then add them to the swarm, Abathur. Strains mutually exclusive will compete in sequence. One must be chosen. Other must be discarded. Fine. Make some of each. I want to see them in action. We'll set up tests for both. Initiate from evolution pit. Hey, we can't make both. Oh, wait, wait, Abathur. Make some of both so I can test them out. Wait, wait, I just told you we can't make some of both. No, 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 wait, wait. I'll make some of both. Don't worry about it. God damn it. Okay, let's upgrade our Hydralisks. Ah, this looks so cool. It's so cool. I love the Hydralisk. Okay, Frenzy. is. It's basically Stimpak for your Hydralisks. Uh, they attack 50% faster, which is crazy good. They don't move faster, but that's okay. I really like this ability. Uh, this gives them plus 20 life, which is good. It's funny that it has them against Immortals. Immortals are not notably terrible against Hydralisks. Uh, even before the plus 20 life. Groove Spines is the multiplayer up the multiplayer upgrade that most people are familiar with. It just increases their range. It's definitely between Groove Spines and Frenzy. Frenzy, you have to remember to use if you get it. I am going to go ahead and get Frenzy, because I think it, if you use it, it is incredible. But if you don't use it, then just get the Groove Spines. It's just not not worth anything else. Uh, more with Abathur. I will do the evolution mission next. I'm going to look into your memories and find out why I feel so angry when I see you. Memories not important. Distractions. I see it in your mind. You designed the Queen of Blades. Your limbs wrapped me in the chrysalis. Weak and soft. Broke bones. Tore flesh. Improved you. <laughs> If you weren't important to my plans, 
You'd be dead right now. Unclear. Huh. Okay, so yeah, it was pretty much confirmed. Uh, I'm going to do the evolution mission in a separate video, but I plan on releasing the evolution videos the same day as the previous video because I feel like it's a waste to do them separately. Uh, Kerrigan, let's go ahead and upgrade. A new tier of abilities has awakened. If you wish to use a new ability, you must select it. Otherwise, it will not activate. This is pretty cool. Uh, Zergling Reconstitution, but I'll, I'll tell you what, I got this in my very first playthrough and it was really, really, really cool. But the problem is eventually you're going to get to the point where you wish that you didn't have to bother with the Zerglings. You wish that you could use that supply for something else. So, uh, 10 Zerglings every 30 seconds really isn't even that much. Um, improved Overlords just sort of feels like... I don't know. It's, it's like supply call down. You get it because you're bad and... Honestly, it's just a convenience, and I think I'm just going to go with the convenience, because the Zergling Reconstitution, while cool, I feel like doesn't provide such an enormous tangible benefit right away. I mean, it helps at the very beginning of missions when things can be challenging, when you have only a few amount of units, but then you just get free Zerglings back. I don't know. I'll stick with the Improved Overlords. I feel like it just makes things easier. Both of these are going to result in me saving minerals. That's the thing. Improved Overlords, I have to... I use 50% less minerals when I get as I'm going to the 200 supply cap. Same thing with Zerglings, though. Uh, less money that I have to spend on Zerglings, but again, that's also using supply, so I think I'm going to go with the Improved Overlords, and they morph instantly. That's great, so I think I think it's much better than Zergling Reconstitution. That's my opinion, though. Someone, I'm sure people can provide great, uh, great reasons why uh, the Zergling Reconstitution would be great on certain missions and whatnot. Anyway, this has been Jay Barino. Next time, we'll be doing the Zergling Evolution mission. It'll be pretty short, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.